You're ready. Stand by. It felt This is Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. I'm doing another video in the series on getting started in three gun from a rookie's point of view. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, belt setup and how to get all that gear you need on your body to get down and uh, and be effective in your uh, competition. So uh, one option would be this, which I think you'll find is not terribly effective. Um, sure, if you, this is what you got, we want you to come out and play. Let's talk about something that really does make sense for the game, and that is a good uh, competition belt setup. And there's a few of these out there. Um, I use CR Speed, but uh, Blade Tech makes a great one that's very similar to this. And Safari Land has got a, a setup that allows you to configure all kinds of little things on uh, you know pre-programmed places along the belt. But this is what I started with, and it hasn't done me wrong yet, so I figure why change. Essentially, it is just a very stiff outer belt. It's got uh, the male Velcro on it, and it comes with a uh, very soft inner lining belt that has the female side on it, allowing you to mate them up. And one thing I will do is, um, I don't know if you can see that, but I've put uh, the Velcro on the inside of all my connectors, which uh, gives you a more positive grip. Because once you get um, you know, several rounds of rifle, pistol, shotgun, and a pistol on this belt, you're going to find that it is uh, pretty heavy. And the last thing you want to do is have it falling off on you while you're running and gunning. So this is my basic setup right here. We'll start my day. And generally, I don't take these things off. Occasionally, I will take the pistol off because it, um, it's heavy. And if I don't need it, why run the risk of a DQ from it falling off your belt? So the first thing we want to make sure we've got is a really, really good holster. Uh, nothing ruins your day quicker than dropping your gun and getting disqualified from either a stage or a match. So I use the Blade Tech. I found it to be uh, good retention and quick to draw. It has a couple of screws on the side here which allow you to adjust, uh, you know, the sort of the, the variables between the two. Um, mine has got enough tension to keep the gun in there, but I can still get it pretty quickly out of the holster. And um, I like that snugged up kind of tight. And then for pistol magazines, I'm running the CR Speeds, but again, there's tons of great ones out there. And what I'll do is I'll have one magazine back here that's kind of out of the way that I will put into my gun before I go up to the line. And then one up front that I can uh, really quickly do a mag change. For rifle magazines, um, I'm using um, the Blade Tech here, but I also just I always come up to the line with one in my pocket. And the reason for that is, is when I get up there, I'll get, put one, insert one into the rifle and uh, have one in my belt. So outside of major matches, I don't find myself changing magazines all that often for pistol or for rifle. But um, the reality is, is sometimes you get a jam or you get some sort of other malfunction with the gun, and it's easiest to just drop the magazine, clear the chamber, and insert a fresh one and move on. Uh, you're not going to take the time to diagnose the problem anyway, so you might as well get into a fresh magazine with a fresh set of rounds and get moving down the range. So uh, that brings us to shotgun, and these days uh, I am using, mostly using, the dual loads. And uh, these guys just drop right on the front of my belt right here and give me one full reload uh, of shotgun shells. If uh, the course fire requires two reloads, then I'll run a second one up front. And I do have a couple of other options. So I am carrying, usually in my bag, uh, four of the classic AP Customs to run along the front. And I, as we talked about in the shotgun reloading video, I am a strong hand loader. But this gives me a chance uh, to swap out these, which you can see are not very good for going prone. And this gives me options up front. So guys, that's just a quick overview of my belt setup. I hope it helps. Uh, again, this is just one way to do things. There's tons of great ways to do this, and uh, this is what works for me. Uh, all of us are built a little differently and have, are going to have different needs, and, uh, and one thing that works for me isn't going to work for you and vice versa. I encourage you to get out, play some games, meet the guys, ask them what works for them, and find out what's going to work for you. If you have more questions, you can find my information at both HawkeyeOrdinance.com and on our Facebook page, Hawkeye Ordinance. I wish you all the best. Have some fun out there. And <laughs>